Hello and welcome back to my Pokemon Horizons review series. Today we are reviewing episode 9. Let's get started and I hope you enjoy. So it is Paldea time. The crew finally arrived to return Ligo home after completing the job to protect her. So this episode massively surprised me. I expected this big welcome home for Liko, this celebration and just insight into the Paldea region and maybe some more exploration of the region itself. We didn't get that at all, this episode was heavily focused on Liko and her worry about leaving the crew. Freed has completed his mission so she will no longer be travelling with them, her journey is over. This episode actually got really deep. We get into some of Paldea, we see Mesa Goza and the Academy which seems to be adopting the Scarlet version with the orange uniforms which is interesting, but it all looks great, I really can't wait to see more, especially next episode. We also get a funny moment with Roy nearly getting run over by Cyclazar. We meet Liko's dad Alex and it turns out her mum is on a trip. I think her identity will be important for the story as they wouldn't leave this this long without revealing her. I think she'll have a bigger role with Liko's journey and the pendant. But her dad Alex, he is a painter which is actually really cool, it links to the painting you can find in the houses in Scarlet and Violet. Also we see his painting of an Arcanine which obviously we know Liko's grandmother owns this Pokemon so it's another cool link. His character was quite straightforward, he seems to be a workaholic, wants Freed and Liko to leave because he's finishing a painting. Also he seems extremely worried about Liko which causes this whole problem in this episode, with Liko worrying that she won't get to travel anymore after she overhears his and Freed's conversation. It was actually a really interesting relationship that the two seem to have. Liko ends up going back to the ship to spend the night. She leaves Sprigatito at her house and throughout the episode she noticed that it was acting weird. This was probably because Sprigatito could tell Liko was acting off and also it was jealous of the Fidu. I really love seeing Fidu in this episode, it was really playful, it had a really good personality, playing around with Roy's Fukoko. Also this episode had these tiny moments with Dot. We see her cleaning her Nido thing suit because it stinks and Liko briefly noticing it which was insane. I'm surprised Dot made such a rookie mistake of leaving it hanging off the ship. But as Liko was in her own little world she decided to ignore it. Maybe the identity is still not fully revealed for Liko but she's smart so she might put the pieces together soon. Liko returns home and it was a nice moment she tells her dad that she didn't know he was so worried but she has found a new home, a new place to be with Pokemon where she can grow. It was really wholesome and he admits he knows that she has her grandmother's adventuring spirit inside her and they both agree that she can keep travelling which was a really nice moment. She still wants to figure out what the pendant does and they also have this goal of finding the black Rayquaza who Alex says this could have been spotted in Artisan which leads us to next week with Nimona and Brassius. So damn what an episode, I really didn't expect it to get as deep as it did with Liko and her thoughts her worries about leaving home, you can see that we are 9 episodes in and the adventure side of things is still really eating at Liko, which is really good because it's not easy for a young person to just leave home as easy as they make it out in previous series, so they are portraying it with quite a bit of reality. I loved all the stuff in this episode, I loved the little dot moments, we didn't get that much of Paldea, not as much as I expected, we saw a bit of the wild areas, we see a few Pokemon like Cyclozar and a Paldean Tauros, just nice slow pace which is what the series has been doing perfectly. The pacing is probably the best thing about the series for me. They aren't just throwing in a bunch of Paldea Pokemon for the sake of it. That's something Journeys would have done at the end. They're taking their time and keeping things relevant and I really can't wait for what's to come next week. This episode just has me wondering what is next for the Vault Tacklers. Obviously they have to find Rayquaza and discover the mysteries of the ball and the pendant. But I think there's going to be some more character driven goals involved whether it's the gym challenge or something else. But for this one, I'm going to go 8 out of 10. Let me know your thoughts. What is your rating out of 10? Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.